look out for yourself, but look out for your neighbor and our community as well. If you see suspicious packages in your neighbor's yard, please give us a call. If it's in your yard, call us. We will not take any call lightly. Every call is important, just as every tip is important. So please reach out to us if you have something. And with that, I will go ahead and open it up for questions. Chief, could you elaborate on your belief that this is a message? Uh, uh, what led you to that conclusion, and, and what does that message say? Well, that's the important thing. Is some, There's the message behind what's happening in our community, and we're not going to understand that until the suspect or suspects reaches out to us to talk to us about what that message was. We still do not know what ideology may be behind this, what the motive was behind this, and that's why it's important right now that we have the opportunity to speak with the subject or subjects that are responsible for this so we can understand what's happening here. Can you give us an update on the third victim? Uh, the third victim, again, we're, for HIPAA reasons, we're not putting out any specifics on her condition. Chief Manley, can you talk a little bit about last night, their market, their market threat? What were the circumstances surrounding that? So last night we had an individual, obviously, who made threats against the venue where there was a South by Southwest event occurring. The promoter of that event, in an overabundance of caution, made the decision to go ahead and cancel the evening concert series that was going to take place. And again, that's a decision that the promoter makes. We, as you would imagine, got on that investigation immediately and were able to track that back to the suspect and we have arrested the suspect in that incident for a terroristic threat. We have, we have uh, reviewed that suspect, we have investigated his involvement, and we do not believe that he is at all tied to the string of uh, package bombs that have taken place in our community. Nonetheless, he was charged with a terroristic threat. What makes you think he was handled? Again, based on the investigation that we did on both that incident, on this individual and his background, it was apparent to our investigators that they do not believe he's involved in the package bomb series that have taken place. Uh, again, in the package bomb series, there are no warnings that are coming forward or anything like that. We have a subject or subjects that are placing these bombs on people's doorsteps. Chief, are you looking at other bombings that have happened in other cities to see if there's a connection? So the investigative team that's looking at that, again, is looking at all avenues. As we've said before, we're not ruling anything out at this point. We're not ready to say there's a specific ideology or motivation behind these bombs, but we are not going to rule anything out until we have a reason to rule it out, because when we do that, it narrows our focus and we may limit um, considering things that we should be considering. Does the increase in reward mean you put it dead end with tips and no, we still have tips coming in, but it is important, and, and this is the opportunity again to remind the community to continue to give us tips. What, what happens at times is as you get further and further away from the incident, it falls off people's attention, and we want to get this back into everyone's attention and remind them of the importance of giving us the tips. And again, the increase in the reward money is, is hoping that if somebody did have that tip and they were un, unwilling to come forward, we're hoping to encourage you to come forward by this additional tip money that's now available. Chief, has, uh, the Austin Police Department, has the Austin Police Department ever uh, offered this much money for a reward, and, and where is that reward money coming from? So the reward money in this instant right now is coming from our federal partners, and the city is going to address additional reward money potentially uh, uh, next week. What is the command center? We put the command center together. The, uh, after the March 12th incident, that's when we did, uh, decided to put together a task force and we uh, found the location and, and it was operational after the string of bombings that took place on March 12th. We'll take one more question. Do you have any evidence suggesting this is these are racially motivated? No, we, we, as we've said from the beginning, we're considering that as, as a possibility, but we don't have any evidence that makes us think that is. What we know for certain is we have three victims that are victims of color, and we have three package bombs that have exploded on the east side of Austin. So that is relevant to the investigation, but it is not indicative that there is a motive of hate. But we're not ruling that out because we just don't have enough information at this time to know whether or not that is part of uh, what's going on here. Thank you. Thank you.